I have this unfinished wood board. It measures about 14 by 14 inches. And I'm going to start by painting it with some Wise Owl Dry Time Chalk Synthesis Paint. Now you can really pick any color of your choice. And I want to just give this good coverage. Once that is dry, I have this all-purpose joint compound I get right from my local hardware store. And then I have these putty knives that I found from my Dollar Tree. They come with three different sizes. And I'm just going to smooth out some joint compound onto the inside of my board. I'm just smoothing out the joint compound. And you want to make sure you have a good layer on there. You do not want it too thin. But then yet you also don't want it too thick either. So I just kept smoothing it out, making sure that I can get it as even and leveled as I can. I found this icing comb set right from the Dollar Tree. It came with three different pieces. And one of the pieces had a thick comb and a thinner comb on the other end. Now I'm going to start with the bigger comb. And at the top of my board, I'm going to move my hand in a waving motion through the joint compound. Then for my middle layer here, I'm going to turn the board on the side and then do the smaller comb with a waving motion across. Now I know this is not even, it was very hard to get perfect, but what I did is I just took my putty knife. You can always go back and flatten any areas you want to fix. If you mess up, you can just take your putty knife and flatten the entire thing and start over. So then the last section, I went back to the bigger comb and did my waving motion, and that helped even out the center. I'm going to set that aside to dry, and I have this flower decor that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was $1.99, and I'm going to remove the jute hanger and paint the entire thing with some Wise Owl Snow Owl. Now these small cutouts are nice, but they have these really tiny, thin engraved lines that can be hard to work with. So what I do is once the paint is dry, I took some of my furniture salve and I put the salve on top of the white paint. You want to make sure you put a good coat on. And then next I'm going to take some Wise Owl Black and I'm just going to hit all of the little engraved lines with some black paint. Now this isn't going to be super colorful. I kind of just want a very subtle look. And then I have my baby wipes and I'm going to wipe on top of the black paint. And then the black paint settles inside all those little lasered areas. And you don't want to over wipe as you will start to wipe some of the paint off. But the furniture salve allows you to wipe a majority of it off leaving it in the engraved areas. And I did that technique around the mason jar as well. And then I added some green to my stems and the leaves. And again, you could pick any colors. You can make this more colorful. If you have a really steady hand, you can even add a lot more detail. I'm going to go back to my board and around the edges, I'm just going to clean up where I got some joint compounds. You can sand off some of it, but you want to be careful not to mess up your textured area. So you just want to take a majority of it off, but then you can paint right on top of the joint compound to clean up the inside of the board or any areas that may have got messed up while adding the joint compound. Now the joint compound was just a fun way to add texture to any board and you can really do any design of your choice from this point forward. What I decided to do is I have some laser cut wood letters and I'm going to spell out I will always pick you. And I'm putting the wood letters on my blue painters tape so that it's easier to either paint or spray paint without them moving around. So I took my Krylon Shortcuts black spray paint and gave that a coat of the black. Now for this step I have some E6000 I'm just placing on a plate. Now you want to make sure that the joint compound is a little dry but I did think it was a good idea not to wait till it was fully dry as you can lay your letters down on the texture. I'm painting some E6000 on the back side and when I place my letter down into the joint compound, I'm just giving it a little press 
and that way it can set into the soft joint compound which will help hold the letters in place. I'm then going to go to the flower decor that we painted and I'm going to glue that in the bottom right corner of the board. I'm just using some hot glue to hold that in place. Now there's a small hole where I removed the jute hanger and I have these really tiny burlap stickers. They're like little burlap flowers and I thought I would just add a couple. This will just help hide that little hole. You can even add a little bow. And there we go, now we just have this easy, fun, textured board using joint compound. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.